Estimates. I feel like I'm repeating myself. Earlier on, we talked about things like using logs to, to estimate powers of 10. And we compared the radius of the Earth to the radius of the Sun, and uh, also compared it to the orbit, the radius of the orbit of the Earth around the Sun. So we said looking at the powers of 10 allow us sort of a way to um, estimate um, or compare uh, different things and, and see, you know, if when we do calculations we're, we're in the correct ballpark here. So again, going for that, that whole um, power of 10 type argument, um, you can do, you know, sort of call them back of the envelope because, you know, you can use a scrap piece of paper. We can do useful approximation to see whether or not what we've calculated makes sense. Now, an exact answer uh, may take a lot more time. But um, in checking our work, we want to make sure that when we do an estimate, um, when we get the answer, it matches whatever estimate that, that we might have imagine at the very beginning. Okay? So for instance in projectile motion, if you launch some projectile and uh, it's launched at 20 meters per second and you get an answer of like 10 to the minus 3 meters of travel, well, it doesn't sound right. It only traveled a millimeter but it was going over 40 miles per hour. Again, you can estimate sort of, you know, how far would you have thought that it should have gone? Okay? So, you know, estimating your, your results, um, you know, based on mathematical reason, uh, mathematical reasoning and um, the limited information that you have can set you up to see if you're on the right track. Okay, if all of a sudden you get crazy exponentials, um, or I should say in, you're doing scientific notation, you're getting crazy powers of 10. Um, you can back up before you do too much work. So estimates are very, very useful. And again, order of magnitude. What power of tens are we talking about here? If we, you know, have a power of ten which is reasonable given the type of questions that we have, that's fine. Like you're doing um, a force calculation. You get a billion newtons of force for an everyday object. That doesn't make sense. All right? Um, too large a number, too small a number, usually by looking at the powers of 10, we can get a good idea whether or not we're on the right track.